What up, y'all? Uh, I'm totally biting right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a Kevin Smith leg video for y'all. <laughs> Reason being, because y'all got these new kicks. Since I got some shows coming up and be on stage. I'm a very utilitarian type person. I'm not all big on fashion like I used to. But, you know, when I see a good deal, a good sale, I copy some shit. These Air Maxes were like $50. <laughs> Because I wear size 17, so I get the, the leftovers. But finally, I got some good leftovers, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to copy Kevin Smith, do a leg video with the sneakers in here. You know what I'm saying? So, what you call it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk about Tupac real fast for y'all, right? Um, I was watching this channel called Tupac's Hoax. The shit is crazy. According to uh, the guy's theory on that channel was that he says that the Black Panthers were a CIA run organization and Tupac was raised as a CIA operative just to uh, perpetrate bullshit that he was supposedly uh, a, a setup. You know what I'm saying? Like he was supposedly a set up as far as like him being shot was a setup, that everything was a setup and everything was just a hoax I and mean, he never really got shot and everything and he was uh purposely put there to create chaos and then I guess the new world order will come in and bring the order out of chaos, order out of chaos, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I totally believe that, but there is one part that I did find interesting within this theory. And that is when Pac got shot in 1994. Supposedly he got shot twice in the head, uh, saying that the bullets grazed his head, right? Believe twice, at least once, right? Now, my thing is, if he got grazed in the head, how come there has never been any scars, any visible scars of a graze wound, right? Now, some could say, well... Maybe you just didn't see it because he got cosmetic surgery. He's a superstar, stuff like that. So maybe they took care of that on that level, right? But uh, I want y'all to look at this right here. This is in the in inside of all eyes on me. He's posing for a picture. See the Nefertiti uh, thing and see that scar he has? That's not a bullet wound. That's a, t a tattoo scar or like a rash that he caught or some shit like that, right? Now, he's posing for a photo. And he has a rash, a tattoo rash. You know what I'm saying? They didn't do any plastic surgery to get rid of that. You know what I mean? So why would he have something uh, get rid of some deep bullet um, graze wounds of the head? Have plastic surgery reduce that, but not reduce something visible right on his chest. It's right on his tattoo of all places. So that to me, that kind of debunks that. I doubt it was that he got them shits removed on some... Uh, plastic surgery so if that's not the case it leads me to wonder well shit how come there are no graze wounds you know what i mean um you may say maybe you just didn't see it like that or this that the third but look he went to jail shortly after supposedly getting shot right and then you see him in the jail interview with a head full of hair right and if he supposed he got grazed in the head, side of the head, top, back, wherever, then you would think that it would create like a bald spot where head can't grow. Because if the bullet really grazed him and really went past there, you would think that it would take the, that part of scalp or skin off. However, when you watch that video, he has a full head of hair. So I found that very, very interesting. I want to know what y'all think. How come you never see any bullet wounds? on Pac's head after that.